So let us take the example of kmap for four variables. The values are 0, 1, 2, 3. So we write it as, since 0 is given, we write as 0 for 1, 1, 2, 3. Now next values are 4, 5, 6, 7. That is 4, 5, 6, 7. So to be precise, I write it here as 0, 1, 2, sorry, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now next value is 8 and 12. So 8 won't be continuing from here. Instead, 8 will be here, which is 8, 9th, 10th, 11th. And here it will be 12, 13, 14, 15. So 8 and 12 are the values that are asked. So 8 and 12. So how to make the groups here? Since we have a direct combination, we can try to make the group having ones with maximum number. That is, we can take this one, this group, okay? And the second one will be this group. Why we have not taken this group? It is because if I take this group, these two are already covered. So we don't need to cover these two ones. So we directly make this group and this group. Okay. So we have to write the equation for this group will be now writing here. Okay. Let's go on in this direction first. That is horizontal direction. So we can check out that from the first row and from second row, the output will be here. This, this C remains, this C, this C remains. And this D and this D bar and this D cancels. Similarly, we can check out here. Sorry, uh, we can take overall, that is from zero to one. C bar, C bar, C, C. Therefore, C bar, C bar, C, C, they get cancelled. Similarly, for this 0, D bar, D, D, D bar. That is, D bar, D, D, D bar. D bar, D, they get cancelled. D bar, D, they get cancelled. Similarly, for cases for C, C bar, for this one. Again, for this one will be C bar. For this one will be C. And for this one will be C. C, C. Therefore, this to cancel, this to cancel. So overall will be here just one. Now let's take here. Okay. Here A and A. A bar and A bar. They remains. Similarly, B bar and B, they get cancelled. Therefore, the overall output for this equation will be just A bar. Now similarly for this equation, the overall output will be, you can just check out. A, A, A remains. B, B bar. So they get cancelled. Similarly, C bar, D bar. They don't have anyone to get cancelled. So we can write it as C bar, D bar. Therefore, the overall output for this K-map will be A bar plus A, C bar, D bar. Hence, we have studied K-map now. So we can study the half header. As we can check out from the truth table for half header, the truth table for half header, that is the sum, they represent the same way like the x or gate. Therefore, the equation for sum in half header is a bar b plus a b bar. Similarly, we can check out the equation for carry. Carry is a b. Like we can check out by using the k map the same way we have done. Okay. The truth table, the equation for k map. K map for half adder is given by A B 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. The truth table for A map the output will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. That is for sum. Okay, this is for sum, and the output for carry is 0, 0, 0, 1. So if you make the K map for this we get the equation for sum as a bar b plus a b bar which is equal to a x or b the same way we can check from the truth table for the sum 0 x or 0 it gives 0 0 x or 1 it gives 1 1 x or 0 is 
one 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 it is zero. Therefore, the sum represents x or gate. Similarly, if we make the k map for carry, we get the output for carry as a b, which represents and gate. Hence the equation. Hence the circuit. We can check out for half adder. We can check out half adder. The sum has x or that is the sum has x or gate and the carry has and gate. Similarly, we can just move on for the full adder. Full adder consists of two inputs that is a b and the third input that is carry. Uh, where does this carry ca uh, come from? As we have seen in the half adder, for uh, the inputs a b as one one, we get the output as zero and the carry as one. Okay. So if we want to make the addition for three bits, that is a b and the previous carry, to make such kind of additions, we use full adders. The circuit diagram or the logical diagram we can check out. The same is the truth table for A, B and C in, that is the previous carry, C out the current carry and sum. Okay, let's work out how the addition works for the full adder. A, B, C. So this is 0 plus 0 plus 0, the sum is 0, carry is 0. Similarly, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 1. The sum becomes 1, again the carry is 0. Now, 0 plus 1, answer is 1, that is the sum is 1. Now, that sum is again added with carry. Okay, so let's, uh, before going on to the addition, let's check out how the truth table comes from. The truth table is, like uh, we have written the three variables. So, we write it as 0, 1, which are the binary equivalents, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. As we know, since there are three variables, we can calculate three, uh, we can calculate 2 raised to n minus 1 bits. That is, we can get 2 raised to n, where n is 3. That is, let's work out. Now, since there are three variables, that is, a, b, c. This is 0, 0, 0. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Now, why we got, we get it till 7th? That is, here this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are the decimal equivalents. 